Okay, so I'm gonna have to ask you guys if you talk a good bit. I can talk. Can you talk more? What should I talk about? Anything. Alright, so... How were are, how are watermelons conceived? Like, were their ancestors... Were they, like, friends with somebody and then they, like, come up with, like, stripes on the watermelons? Like, how did the, how did the stripes get there? And how- uh, why do they have seeds? Dave, I what think what- Dave, I think what happened is the watermelons that had stripes were better suited to blend in with the grass, so they were able to reproduce. Yeah, but why were they in the grass to begin with? Oh, uh, because that's don't, where watermelons grow. Don't- don't fruits normally, like, grow in trees and bushes? Um, I don't- They can't they just grow on the ground, that's kind of dirty. I mean, they can. They do whatever they want. Really? It's crazy. Maybe purple? Um, I don't think so. Dang it. I, I bet you probably paint one if you wanted to. I wanted, a, I wanted a natural purple watermelon. Hey, are we gonna mention that My Immortal was first published in 2013? According um, to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to uh, fly. Oh, so what? Oh, right. I forgot we were on the next page. Uh, what, where did you guys leave off? Uh, we didn't continue without you. Uh, you're on the AN on top of the page. The next page, at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to talk again for a sec, because I made some changes. So, if you're wondering, how was part of conceived? Well, not I was exactly not. Conceived. I was not. Not no. I was not, not wondering. Not I was not wondering. I was I'm not, not wondering. About that. I'm talking about how Paro in general, like how he came to be, <laughs> not not how he was born. That's too much for now. Uh. Um. So one day he was, you know, like five, seven years old. He was wandering around. He was like, man, I'm tired, and he just straight up passed out on a flower bed in green grass. He was like, oh crap, I'm asleep. And, the, and so he was asleep until he turned, like, 19, which is, like, a long time. A few years later, I counted. And he woke up with a flower inside of his horn, and his horns were, like, way different. And he had, he was like, whoa, that's pretty crazy. And then he went to go do more things, like, walk. Hmm. And continue to breathe. Yeah, I'm currently trying to get my mic to a good position. Hey, babe, uh, I need you to talk at the same time I'm talking. I... I yeah. Keep, yeah. I can't I don't have to keep talking, you know? No, we have to talk at the same I'm, time. Um okay, tell me. Yeah, yeah, right. Come up right now. We have to talk together. Oh, okay, we're talking. If we don't talk uh, together, then I won't know how good the okay, audio so is. Okay, so what's your what's your favorite letter? My favorite letter is the letter J cuz it starts with my it starts my oh, name off. I really it's like the letter L because right. it's really nice and well, J is actually another letter that's in the word Jack o' Lantern, which is conveniently a part of the Halloween shtick. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Halloween's pretty nice. It is. Yep, Halloween is really cool. Almost as nice as you. Uh, I don't know about that part. I do. That yeah, part doesn't seem very right. I don't know, babe. Halloween's it's pretty bad. nice. It's bad. No, Halloween is not that nice. How dare At least you? Now How it, dare dude, you? Dude, it is. How it has been raining for so you? long. It has been raining for so long. How I don't think anyone's dare been able to you? I bet all the costumes are going to have masks on. It snowed on Halloween. Uh, last year, and I still went. It didn't snow for my Halloween, and I oh. still went out. Well, I <laughs> it was mean, just it cold. was really, really cold. It was cold. You're really, really cold. I am. It's really cold. Get under a blanket, dear. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in a room with no blanket. 